Hi everyone, this is your introduction to GCSE Art, Craft and Design and Photography at Tubman and High School. They're both separate subjects, but they have a similar course structure, so we felt it was important to put them both together. We run the AQA Art, Craft and Design course and Photography course. I have quite a lot to get through in this video, guys, so I'm going to pass through the slides and focus hopefully on the most important bits, but obviously you can come back and peruse this at your leisure. So the two year courses, both of them, they are 60% coursework and 40% exam. In year 10, you'll typically go through a teacher led project in term one, but after that, you will be able to do whatever it is that you want to do. The reason we do this program is because we want you to understand how to present your work, how to explore, how to develop, how to create observations, and how to create final pieces. Your exam is basically where you receive a set of starting points from the exam board. So you will be, choose a word or a phrase that will help inspire your entire project. During that time, you will have a 10 hour exam that involves you sitting in a room with the rest of your class in silence with an invigilator, without your teacher, creating a final piece that you'd planned beforehand. So it's a really enjoyable experience. You can study any of these disciplines. Um, our motto in school kind of is if we can facilitate it, you can do it. And in some instances, some people want to do things that we don't typically teach a lot like SFX makeup. And in that case, we encourage you to do your own independent research. We will aim to help you as much as we can and we'll help you source those materials should you need them. Our main thing in art is to make sure that you're able to fulfill your passions, follow your passions and help you get to your next stage in life, help you succeed in future and help you really unlock that unique potential. These are some examples of work from school. As you can see, a lot of material exploration from textiles to clay to painting, a wide variety of different things explored. Why study art or photography? We feel it enriches your experience at school. We feel it helps you encourage your self-expression and help develop your own sense of individual identity. We always expect the kids to try and make personal connections with the work and really help them come out of their shells and help them express what it is they feel about certain topics in the world around us. We feel it helps you with your critical thinking and we feel it helps you interpret the world around you. Common questions, is art hard? Again, when I say art, I'm talking about art and photography. Both subjects are demanding, but only as demanding as other subjects. I think a lot of people see people taking work home and feel like it's all homework. It's not. If you try your absolute best in lesson and you do a bit of additional work independently, as you would be expected to do in any other subject, there's no reason why you can't succeed. Do you need to be able to draw? Ideally, drawing is really advantageous, but it's not an absolute necessity to be really, really good drawer okay there are many other ways in which you can express yourself throughout art and photography there isn't a written exam and you can do whatever you want within some boundaries some common questions some people want to do both i.e art craft and design and photography this is definitely possible it can be a lot of work but again if you're passionate about it and you are able to lead yourself independently there's no reason why you cannot do this really successfully uh, photography focuses mainly on photography, so that's really important to think about. It's the planning of photo shoots, the research behind photography, the taking of photographs, the editing of these photographs, and thinking about really smart ways in which you can present that work as well. Art craft and design is a lot more varied and does have some aspects of photography, so it's really important to think about what it is that you want to focus on and what your main passions are. In short, if you are creative and wish to experience a lot of hands-on making and material exploration and enjoy drawing, choose art. If you are creative but don't feel confident drawing or creating with your hands, perhaps consider photography. So these are many future careers, many future careers that can the art of photography can lead to. Only some really. There are many more opportunities than this, but they're important to consider in the future. Why you shouldn't choose art photography? I wouldn't encourage you to choose art or photography if you don't feel confident experiment experimenting with a wide range of materials. You don't want to work independently at home on a regular basis. If you're only choosing it as an easy, relaxing subject, it can be easy and relaxing to some people at some points, but really it requires you to really focus on lesson and do some work at home as well. Or you didn't know what else to pick. It's really important to make informed choices. Come see myself or Miss Connolly or Miss Webster or anybody else that's maybe undertaken the subject to find out more. Thank you very much.